That's a good yes. Walking into Rebecca's house, you can practically feel the holiday cheer, but that doesn't mean that it all came easy. I have two daughters and a single mother. The cozy home you see here almost wasn't. I had lost a job, so then I ended up losing a, an apartment and trying to find other housing after an eviction was extremely hard. I had a full-time job and working, but the eviction was holding me up. Instead of getting back on her feet, she found herself stumbling. Before, I kind of felt like I was on quicksand. Like every time I get up, I'm just kind of pulling down. So she reached out to the Boys and Girls Club, and luckily, they had a solution. We had a home that was going to be vacant over the Christmas time and um, over the winter months, and so I reached out to my contact with the Boys and Girls Club. With a house laying vacant, she knew that she could put it to better use. Seeing somebody actually make use of the home and at a good time um, and during the holidays, it's been a, it's a great feeling. According to the Boys and Girls Club, this kind of generosity goes overlooked this time of year. Now we serve over 7,000 kids, right? You know, you count 600, 700 plus families. Uh, I can assure you that uh, there's more families inside the club and of course all of the community that need help. Rebecca says that this holiday season, she got the best gift this one house that left the lights on. It's unexplainable, the kindness and um, the meaning of this behind this. And the donors do not realize probably how much they have affected me in a great way. For News 3, I'm Chris Lewinberg.